Nana. Mama? Where are you going? Mama? I can hear voices coming from Father's grave. You heard it too. You heard? But what will anybody be doing in our compound by this time? Especially at my father's grave. Find out what is going on around there. Wait. I said, wait. Mama, can you stop distracting me? I said, wait. You wait. Go and check. Something has gone wrong. Now who go tell my people? I am displaced. Oh. My grave has been stolen. Oh. Can't you hear me? This is not my grave. My grave has been stolen. Oh. Can't you hear me? This is not my grave. Take me away. Away. Take me away. To the right place. Take me to the right place. Yo. Because I'm just like a What's your neighbor? Huh? There's nobody here. I am sure of what I heard. I heard voices. I know, I heard it too. Huh? Maybe the voice is coming from somewhere else. But that voice was too close. I heard it. Hmm. Let's go in the to red pickle. Can I move? Who run your neighbor? Can't you see it yourself? Who run your neighbor? Let's go in pickle. It's late to red So come, grab. Let's go. I know what I heard. This passage that we just finished reading, it warns us about the evil of idol worship. You see, our God is a very jealous God. That is why he has commanded us not to serve any other gods apart from him. He alone is the one true God that we must submit to. We must not be like the children of perdition who bowed to, 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 the, to bow. And we should not be like some people in this, this our village who have uh, given their soul to the worship of uh, Amadioha, Ogugu, and Demilia uh, and the rest. We should be different. You see, these are false pagan gods. And the people who worship this these pagan deities, if they do not renounce them and come and serve the one true God, they will spend their eternity in hell. Amen? Amen. The gods of my fathers, I have come this very early morning to thank you for the life you have given my family and I. It is not always easy for somebody to go to sleep and wake up. And each time we go to sleep and wake up, we owe it as a duty to give thanks to the spirits that made it possible. I am praying today, this is a market day, <laughs> that today shall bring good things to
to me and my family and to all the people of goodwill. We are going to be like tomorrow because tomorrow has no end. Everybody who wishes us well, we continue to see the good things of this life. All the people that will see us and they will be regretting while we are still alive. We are going to be alive and they will be buried. We are not trying to stand on the way of anybody. But anybody who is standing on our way, in a way that they want to prevent us from getting that which we have desired for us to get, that person will go blind before our eyes. We are going to be blessed on the Eka Market Day. We are going to be blessed on the Market Day. We are going to be blessed on the Market Day. And we are going to be blessed on the Market Day. Yeah? That's why I got the accord there. I don't know how to carry it. As always, I, I give you this piece. And I leave these ones here for anybody who will come into the family altar. They will have something that they will eat. Hmm? Can I go now? No, I can go now. Hmm? Why do I want to get more? Oh, now I will not buy a potato. I got even the more. Hmm? You <laughs> We must not succumb to the pressures of this world. We must eschew every evil communication because our goal is to make heaven. We, especially this family, we have a divine assignment from heaven to deliver this community to our Lord Jesus Christ. So we must be much, much aware and we must be very, very vigilant. And it is a duty that I take very seriously. It is important that we, apart from any other family in this entire community, we must show the world, we must shine the touch of Jesus Christ our Lord and let the world know whose we are and whom we serve. Amen? Amen. Okay, uh, blessing. You can round it up in prayer for us. In Jesus' name. It's your religious war. Can you fight for God? Every day you are bragging. My own is excellent to you. If you die today, do you know where you are going? It's religion in the grave. I want to know. I do religion, I believe. Why uh, they stop people every day? Uh, the thing I want to talk to you about is I want you to keep an eye on blessing. You know, in this town, there are many predators around, and all of them are heathen, pagan worshippers. I don't want her to have any communication, any evil communication with those type of people. So please keep an eye. You know the way the Lord has told us that the things that He has committed into our hands, we have a responsibility to keep it well. Right. Uh, blessing is our blessing. Yes. We must keep her away from all those things. Mm. And we do that, my husband. Blessing, where are you now? Just to bring my bag. Papa, I'm here. Uh, hey, well hey, done. Uh, uh, let us not be in a rush. Eh? Mm. Let your mother say a word of blessing as I go into the mission field. Okay. Oh, yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. Father Lord, we commit your son unto your every care. As he go out there to do what you ask him to do. Father Lord, may you go with him. Amen. Father, may you guide and protect him. Amen. Father Lord, may your peace go with him. Amen. Father, may you lead him so self. May he come back in peace. Amen. Father Lord, we cover him with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Father Lord, I remember your word that said that whatsoever we commit into your care, we not spoil, we not decay, but have everlasting life. Father Lord, I commit your son into your able care. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Okay. Uh, but we have to go. You will uh, miss your We boss. have to go. Okay. I, I will not miss my boss. <laughs> well, let me uh, see. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, I will go. Just don't worry. I stay with your mother. Take care of her for me. That's another. Mm -hmm. mm. We you want know, to see you off now. I don't want you to be on the street so that all those uh, wolf eyes will not see you. Stay with your mother. Eh? Take care of your mother for me. Eh? Okay. Jessica. Mm -hmm. eh, well done. Eh? Okay. Bless them. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, bye my husband. Uh, bye. Uh -huh. We love you. Take care. I will, by the mighty grace of God. My husband, do exploits. Oh, tell us when you get there. Oh. I will call you. And I will call you too. Save Johnny. Uh, don't go out, oh blessing, please. Stay with your mother. Bye. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Go inside, welcome. Papa, bye bye. Yo. <laughs> bye, thank you. Right. You, you have to take care of your mother until I return. Okay? But you need to remind me. She's my responsibility. Of course I have to take care of my mother. He's like my husband. You have nothing to worry. <laughs> He's your responsibility? Yes, she is. She's my mother. You need to find your own wife. So that you will stop sharing my wife with me. Alright, Papa. Good. So when I come back from my travel, you are going to bring the woman you want to make your wife. I want to see her. Ah. What is that? Is it that there is no woman? Ah. Amanda, you need to understand that you are not getting any younger. There are so many beautiful women in this village, even beyond that you can make your wife. So settle down and look for one that you are going to name your wife. When I come back, I, I, I expect to see her. You need a wife. You are not getting any younger, like I said. Ready for one. Good. This is your religious world that you fight for God. Every day you are bragging, my only person. If you die today, do you know where you are going? It's religion in the grave. I want to know. Religion, I believe. Why do you stop people every day? For the bread. Religion, I believe. Why do you stop people every day? Why can't you love each other? For the bread. Religion, I God is not divided. Come God. Almighty God is one. Young man, I want you to know the folly of worshipping man-made gods. See, you don't have to follow in the footsteps of that, your father. Eh? 
you have to come to Jesus Christ today and he will turn your life around for the better. And who says I'm in the dark? Ah, ah. Anyone that is not in Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, is in darkness. You don't know? Just... What are you telling my son? I'm asking you and you're looking at me. I said, what are you telling my son here? I am preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Savior, to your son. That gospel will shock you. Yeah, start opening your mouth for me. I don't understand. Have I not warned you before to stay away from my family? Why will you stay away my son out of this place and you're teaching him this stupidity? Open up this nonsense book to him. Huh? And you? You stood here listening to this stupidity? I was actually going on my way. He stopped there. He stopped there and you stopped. Your legs stop walking or what? It is the truth that will set you free. Oh. Stop provoking me, Johnson. Leave my family out of this. Face your family. Stop this. Is this the book that 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 shall not covet? That shall not covet your neighbor's property. Is that what you wrote there? Why are you coveting my own? Have I coveting your own? Why are you teaching my children to leave what they are doing and follow you? So that my own can be empty? Are you okay in your head? Stop! Stop this thing! Hey! Move! Move it out and, and don't ever look back. Hey, 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 Move. Hey, hey, you, I'm warning you, you and your family, you will go to hell. If I finally see you in that hell, what I will do to you? God forbid. Hey! Hey, lost soul. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May the peace of the gods and the ancestors of our fathers be with us. Your ancestors and the gods of your ancestors have no peace to give anybody. You better give your life to Jesus Christ, otherwise you spend your eternity in hell. Driver, the bus is full. Can we just go? Okay. Why, why are we still wasting time here? Uh -huh. okay. Why will you decide to travel today that I'm traveling? Why? May God forgive you, you this heathen sinner. Johnson. Is your religious man? Can you fight for God? Every day you are bragging. My own destiny. If you die today, do you know where you are going? Is religion in the grave? I want to know. Religion never believes. Why did he stop people every day? For their bread. Why can't you love each other? No more love and more. Religion never leaves. Why did he stop people every day? For their bread. No more unity among you. Religion has the loss of religion. Let us commit this journey to the hands of the Most High God. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I wonder what it will take for some people to show small respect for the creator of the universe. Because if you fail to acknowledge God, he will put you in your place, just as he did to Nebuchadnezzar. I don't actually understand. If you want to talk to me, Johnson, talk to me directly now. Nah. Stop beating about the bush. If you want to pray, pray to your God the way you want to pray to your God. I've already prayed to my she, and I am okay. Ha! Ah. There is only one true God, and him alone must we worship. All these your deities, they are just evil tools in the hands of the devil to lead God's people astray. I don't have, I don't know what your problem is. You said you want to pray to your God. I say pray, I go pray on. How is that my business? Now you have abandoned that prayer. You are attacking me. I you deity, I do watch it. It is as if you are so much obsessed with this I do watch You are obsessed indeed. I know the voice of the devil when I hear it. You are, and who is the devil here? I know the devil. Is that not why you are wearing black? You, this hidden idol worshiper who refuses to, to, to acknowledge the most high God. Let me tell you, 
If you don't change your ways, you will spend your eternity in hell. You are the one who is already in hell. Yes. That's why you will never see somebody and leave somebody alone. Ha! Huh. I hope this man is not distracting you. No, leave this driver to drive now. No, sir. What is this nonsense now? Ha! Huh. No firework. Take this phone. Go and charge it. I don't want to miss my husband's call. Be cool. Don't go. Be sure you don't want to eat for Thank you. Which friend? I'm a Sylvia now. You don't know her. My friend is Sylvia. Sylvia? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Blessing. Blessing. Ma. You heard what your father said. Did you tell him that you are going to see someone when he left? No, I won't stay long now. He doesn't need to tell him. I won't stay long. You will see me now, Mama. Come back home. Come back early. Mama, come now. I want to see you now, Nana. I'll see you. Okay. Come back quick, oh. Okay, Mama, I will. I hope you plug the phone. Yes. That's my dear. Hello? Hello, honey. How is it going? Ah, it's going pretty well. God is in control. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God. I thank God. So, where have you people reached now? I, I think we are at... Uh, is it... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Honey? Honey, please talk to me. Talk to me, please. What is going on? Honey, what is happening there? Hey! Oh my God, I cover my husband with the blood of Jesus. I cover my husband with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover the vehicle with the blood of Jesus. I cover everybody that is in the vehicle with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Oh God, take control. Oh God, take control. God, take control. Take pregnant control, Father. Hey God, what is going on? What is going on? Amadi, mm -hmm. you know we are not supposed to be seen together. Our fathers are in a perpetual war. Well, how has that got to do with us? I mean, they can go ahead and fight Why we should go ahead and love. Amadi, but it's not that simple now. It's not. My father will kill me if he sees me with you. Amadi! Wait, wait, wait. No. Before. Wait!
been waiting for. So, of all days in this village, is that useless daughter of that useless man that you chose as a girlfriend? No, that you say you befriend, Amadi? Eh? Please. I like her and she likes me too. We will give you a girl. Who you like? Eh? The daughter of a man who has condemned us to hell? Eh? A man who has called us all sorts of names simply because we refuse to follow his useless God. We refuse to join him in worshipping his useless God. Eh? Someone who does not associate with the villagers. Who sees all of us as pagans. Is it the man you want to marry his daughter? Mama, I am not getting married to the man. I love the daughter. All right, let's be fair enough. You just called the man derogatory names. You called him mad. Mama, simply because he doesn't share the same belief with us. So tell me, what do we call a man who has forsaken the gods of the land and follow a foreign god? Hmm? What do we call such person? What you say doesn't really matter to me. I am going to get married to the girl. I love her. Huh. You want to give your father a heart attack? Yeah? No, no, no. It's a ring, Mama. Can we just. Can we just. Shut up your mouth. Can we just do it? 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 What? Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm already okay. What is it? I'm already okay. What is it? Hi. Mama, you need to calm down. You have to relax. His phone could be on silent. Silent. Did I not tell you that we were talking when the phone suddenly caught? And this is it then, I have been trying, I have been calling him, his number is ringing, but no one is picking, he's not picking his call. Mama, we are saying the same thing here. <laughs> the phone could be on silent, I mean, it's... He probably doesn't know his phone is ringing. It's possible. Are you saying that my husband suddenly caught the call and put it on silent? Mother, is that what you're telling me? Mother, what I'm saying, what I'm saying that you need to calm down, relax. You're sounding like you're expecting something bad to happen. Ah, go for me, go for me. I cover my husband with the blood of Jesus. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing. Relax, Pico. Calm down, my daughter. Hmm? I told you that there are some noise at the background. When that phone caught, there are noise there. My hey! life is no more thing. I don't know. You know, you're doing too much now. Relax now. Ah, relax. Wait, wait, wait. The phone is moving. Hello? Hello? Sorry. Accident! Accident! Mama. Hey! Jeez, Mama. Ah! Hello? I said it! Mama, Mama, I said it! What happened? I said it though! I said it too! I said for my husband though! Mama, where are you? Mama, no, where are you? No! Mama, try that number. Try that number. number. I don't know who called me. Try that number again. Okay, okay. Try it again. Okay, wait. Send it now! Hey. Huh? How did he happen? Hi. 
I'm very sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Good afternoon, Ifani. Where are you headed? I was just coming from Mazi Fedis Compandu, heading to Mazi uh, Johnson's house as well. Likewise, me, my brother. I'm equally coming back from Mazi Johnson's compound, heading towards Mazi Fedis Compound. My brother, it's a very big dark day to us. Very. A very big blow to Ozala village. Two industrial sons of Ozala happens to die at the same day, at the same spot. I heard the bus caught fire. Most of the passengers got burned beyond recognition. Hey. And it was very difficult for the families of Mazi Johnson and Mazi Fedi to recognize their bodies. Hey. Hey. My brother, I find it so strange that two men who do not see eye to eye happen to travel at the same day in the same bus and died at the same spot. Very, very strange indeed, my brother. But you know we cannot question God. You and I cannot question God. God knows all. He knows the best. Eh? Only five men. Eh? And I heard that the Council of Elders have already decided that both of them will be buried the same day. Yes, since they died the same day. Though they were act enemies while alive, maybe they might be united in death. My brother, I hope so. I hope so. You need to see how Amadi's tears were flowing like a river of water. My brother. Hi. What will I say? Can I put it at you? Call this year later. Call the one Neviko. Jebe jebe jebe. No one depend on that. So you also died in the accident. Ha! The way you were carrying yourself, nobody would have believed you would have died. Now is not the time. No, no. This is the time. At least to show you your foolishness. When you were alive, you were carrying yourself as you were, if, if you were above everybody. And all the people who never believed in your faith, you were treated as like outcasts. He, I, look at you. At least I know where I am going to spend eternity to a place that is reserved for the righteous. Unlike what we can say about you. Because you, you are headed for eternal damnation. When that time comes, we will know no. this foolish. No! No, no, uh, no, that's not me. That is not me. That is that I don't worship as carcass. You are making a mistake. That is no oh, blessing. Tell them, don't you know your father's carcass? That's not me. Uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? That okay, you got to put blessing. No. Listen, oh, what are that, you doing? Is, that is not me. That, see where they're taking me. No, now. It's a mistake you are making. Oh, good, that is yes, not my wait, body. That, no. You, mistake. Wait. This is a big mistake. Uh, oh, good, Bring my thing back here. No. Oh, good, what you have is not my body. No, no. This is my body here. 
It's not me. It's bless him. You are making a mistake. This carcass here. This carcass is here. I don't worship that carcass. It's not me. We leave, we leave it for later change. It. It's not me. Oh, good delay. This no. is not my body. This is my body here. You see what you have caused? You see what you have caused? Can you see what you have caused? I don't worship her. You see what you have caused? What are you? Will you change it? No. It's not me. No, no, drop this one. Drop this one now. Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? Stop this thing. It was not happening. It was not happening. Abomination. I will cook curry. What's that mean? So a tiger will be buried in the grave of a leopard. What is my answer? Al, she cook what you cook. I will cook. What's that mean? Is that right? You know what's my answer, Clay? Things are happening. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. Of course it cannot happen. Over my dead body will it happen. See, you're already dead. Over your dead body. And you're on your way to hell. I look at you most times. I don't know what to tell you. Do you know why? Because you are a fool. On my way to heaven. And you in all your wisdom. Your native heathen wisdom. You are headed for hell. You just confirmed it. That I have wisdom and you have nothing. Stolen forever. Something has gone wrong. Now who go tell my people I am displaced? Oh. My grave has been stolen. Can't you hear me? This is not <laughs> my grave. You are moping at me. You are here drinking. After the abomination, you people committed six months ago. Admire the fed and justice very. The gas, though, you are looking at me. You buried a tiger in the grave of a leopard. Hello. Chukube, please, eh? Shut up! Don't call me. It's only only people that call me. Can you explain this thing in a way I will understand? Because you're getting me more confused. Eh, hey, please. It's okay. I know you are a fool. I resist your drink. You married one man in another man's grave. There is nothing to explain. The gosh. Ah, yeah. They are seeing me and you. It's okay. Even you. Shut up! Who is the woman? It's only the only ones that come. Look at them. Look at them. Hey, hey, fine, fine. Where is so this is where you have been looking for you everywhere. 
I went to your house. Your mother said you left a few minutes ago. Uh, you didn't even bother to check on me. Uh, Mecca, um, if I'm sorry for that, eh? I, I just said, come dilute to one this morning. Eh? But sit down first. Oh, we fed the very, very important. Sit down. Eh? Ronald, my brother, there is something very important that that drunk is just telling me now before you, you, you come in. Eh? We're just talking about what happened in Mazi Johnson and he fed this barrier six months ago. So, so this is what you have reduced yourself to. Chatting with a village drunker. Chekube, a cheap drunker. Who everybody know. They find the coming down. Sometimes you need to give these people a chance. Maybe they are saying sense. Because out of every nonsense, there is a sense. Look at what he was saying. He said that uh, we've committed an abomination. That we buried a tiger in a place of a uh, leopard. And I was trying to understand that before you, you came in. The thing, eh? But that's by the way. Hmm? The thing is that what happened in that barrier was the strangest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Eh? Those men at the point they were not moving again. Eh? The the coffee stuck on the air, on their shoulders, as if they don't want to be buried. The man don't want to be buried. Hmm. My brother, I heard similar things happen at Ifedi's barrier. A heavy breeze broke out. And people ran into hiding. Hmm. Everybody now bar and knock and put on no, I don't understand. See, if I, if you ask me, eh, I will tell you that this whole invent is a bad woman. It's a bad woman. These men we are never they never cross each other while they were alive. And I don't know, maybe in the great beyond, in their grave, they will continue with their fights. <laughs> they will continue to continue with their fights. That's very funny. How is that even possible? You said funny. If I let me ask you, is there any time I will say something that you will not say that's very funny? See, let me tell you. If you say this is funny, tell me how X you will explain such occurrence. Uh, any, anyway, the only thing is that the two men have been laid to rest. That is all that matters. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah, we hear matter. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, what Tekube the drunk is saying, I'm seeing sense in it. Because every nonsense, sense is not clear. One of those bumps, man, do you remember we embalmed six months ago? Was here this morning. Yeah. You are used to dead bodies appearing here all the time. Why are you asking? The appearance is different from the one we used to know. I don't know why. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, wait. It seems we mistake the body of A to the family of B and that of B to the family of A. Why, why are you saying all these ones now? Is that what the man said? Exactly. And you know that he was so very angry. Ha! Which kind of problem with this one now? Well, we've already given them the body to bury you and they bury them. Like this now, I don't know what to do because. Ah, because I know there's no remedy to this problem. What do we do now? Brother, I'm just telling you my mind though. I'm just telling you what I experienced this morning. Ha! I'm supposed to preach left my friend. No! I am not ever going to keep quiet. Why am I here? Of all places. Why should I end up here? A place of foolishness. Wasted generation. A people who have forgotten about their roots. A people that will amount to nothing. Why should this place be the place they have to come and keep me? A great man like me. Oh, what, what am I doing here? My husband, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to us? Why? <laughs> 
Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this to us? Why are you scaring us? What do you want us to do? Please talk to me. I'm here. Please. <laughs> oh my God. Please now. You don't allow us to sleep. You keep scaring us every night. Please, my husband, please stop. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> please. 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 <laughs> please. Please. Please help us. <laughs> Something has gone wrong. Oh. Now who go tell my people I am displaced? Oh. My grave has been stolen. Oh. Can't you hear me? I didn't bargain for this. This is not my grave. I never bargained for this. My grave has been stolen. Oh. What is this? Can't you hear me? This is not my grave. Take me away. Away. Take me away. To the right place. Take me to the right place. Look at the way you are roaming. Like a fool. So you have already vowed that you will not give me peace in life. And even in death. Why are you talking as if I had a hand in all of this? Of all the graves to be buried in. Why will I choose to be buried in the grave of a pagan on his way to hell? Why? You see why I call you a fool? Even in death, you are still claiming that you are better than me. Mr. No Whittle, who does not do anything? If Eddie, I don't have time to banter words with you. Hmm? Because you see, light has nothing in common with darkness. And who is the darkness? And who is the light? You see, you see what I'm talking about? And for six months, you and my very self, we have been roaming around restless and you are still claiming that you are better than me. Infidel. You are an infidel. You are calling yourself light. You are the light. There is no time for the spirits. It is you who will be roaming around. Have, have you not been roaming around? Look at the way you are walking up and down. You don't even know where you are going. You don't even know where you're going. My destination is the heavenly I, Jerusalem. I will, because you have made me restless, I am going to be the person who will handle your second death. I will handle your second death. Your second death I will handle. Angel Gabriel, Angel Michael, kill this man. And you cannot kill anybody. Stop. Voice is coming from Father's grave. You heard it too. You heard? But what will anybody be doing in our compound by this time? Especially at my father's grave. Can't you hear me? 
This is not my grave. My grave has been stolen. Can't you hear me? This is not my grave. Take me away, away. Take me away to the right place. Take me to the right place, you because Keep on your neighbor. Huh? It's not for the hero. I am sure of what I heard. I heard voices. I know, I heard it too. Huh? Maybe the voice is coming from somewhere else. But that voice was too close. I heard it. Hmm. Let's go in the to red people. Can I move on your neighbor? Can't you see it yourself? More or never, let's go in because it's late already. So come, guys, let's go. I know what I heard. Has gone wrong. Now who go tell my people I am displaced? Oh. My grave has been stolen. Oh. Can't you hear me? This is not my grave. My grave has been stolen. Oh. Can't you hear me? This is not my grave. Listen, hmm? did you hear any sound last night? Sound? What kind of sound? The sound woke me up. It was as if someone was screaming. Mama, are you sure it was not a dream? No, I don't think so. It was near your father's grave. Mama, I did not hear any sound. You mean? You did not hear anything. <laughs> Should I get you your food? Listen, I am not hungry. Not now. Okay. Have you eaten? Have you? Okay. I'm son of the bird. What is this? Nothing. I'm just greeting you. Huh? Alright, I'll greet you too. Your father must be restless in his grave, knowing that another has occupied his place of rest. That on Wednesday the weekend, there is no rest in peace for my father. Wait. What did you say? What? Did my mouth move? I said not. Thank you for the support, but you are holding the gun. I said what did you just say? I said nothing. Okay, my mouth was moving before, but I said nothing. Amadi? Nothing. Wait. What did you just say about my father? Someone is gone. Are they changed you? Really? Really go here. Actually come my way At last, there is no one to stand in our way now. We will be together forever. Are you saying you're happy our father's death? Of course I cannot be happy our father's death, but the coincidence is just way too much and I mean how could they die on the same day, same mother? My mother is yet to get to her. So is mine. Amade, what is this? How long has this been going on, blessing? 
What are you doing with the son of a heathen? An idol worshipper. And who is the idol worshipper? You lost soul. How can you be calling me idol? Are you not the idol worshipper who has forgotten his root? Who has no root at all? Oh, you are calling me lost because I refuse to follow your heathen ways. If Eddie, if Eddie, if you don't know, you will end up in hellfire. That is the place that is reserved for you. Amadi, leave this girl alone. What is the matter with you? What? Fellowship has light with darkness. Blessing. Blessing. I brought you up well. Why have you decided to disgrace me like this? Why? Amadi. Uh, with the sword of this heathen Am idol worship. Amadi, go back to the house. Go back to the house. And leave. I didn't say go back with the daughter of a fool. I said go back to the house alone. Leave this fool. What is going on? Just Can't you raise your daughter very well? And that one is that, that, that is really Look at somebody. my son, very responsible. A son, wolf, son of a, a king. wolf, a demon possessed wolf. Look at your daughter. Look at her. Look at your son. You know, is your daughter not lost? Demon possessed. Is your daughter not looking like the daughter of a lost man? Lost daughter of a lost man. You are a pagan. Tell your daughter to leave my son alone. Tell your son to leave my righteous daughter alone. You know you are dead. On my way. Don't force me to kill your daughter so that you can be the only one that is dead. Let her leave my son alone. Greater is he who is in You are not great anything. You are not greater anything. Who is in her? You are not great anything. Than all the Amadio her worshippers in this there world. There is nothing in her apart from stupidity. That's why she's following my son. I agree with you. Your son is the epitome of stupidity. No. And evil. No. My son is the wise man. Your daughter is just trying to tap from his wisdom. You don't have anything in your head. You have no root. You have no foundation. That's why you are lost. Have, I not, I, I, have you not been following me apart? You are following me everywhere I go. Pagan. You can't even go anywhere. Pagan. Okay. Pagan. Where I am going now, you will still come there. Go. Almighty oh God is to know this Stop all this religious war Go fell all the Zora and you need Nani Bofu As God answers your prayers That's all you Abomination All strings of two academy Engage the love of her <laughs> Your fathers must be rolling in their graves do you ever mind your business? Huh? Are you just going to, for once, mind your business? How much you leave here? He's I don't know what's up. What's up? Hey! Sophia! No. Two act enemies. This love, two act enemies. Tell that heathen of a son of yours to leave my daughter alone. He should leave her alone. Your daughter and you yourself, standing here, both of you are the flavor. You always claim that you are the one who has the best religion. Are you not supposed to have raised your daughter well? You didn't raise her well and that is the reason she is shamelessly throwing herself at my very properly raised son. I raised my daughter in the fear and admonition of the Lord. It is that your heathen son who is trying to lure her away from the right path. Just like your father, the devil, tries to lure God's people away. But hear me out. Eh? Light will never mix with darkness. That is not what you always claim. That you are all about light. Two elephants fight. It is the grass that suffer. Instead of you two to return each other's grief, you stole. You are here, fighting over who is more superior. Shut, Shut up! up. Yes, yes. Why not? Since you two are here whining like uh, market women, wait, I want to give you an advice. 
Let us, the, the living, read. Hmm? You can continue with your fight over. Can you fight for God? Hmm? Every day you are bragging. Hmm? My own is desolate to you. Hello. If you die Hello, today, oh, no, do you know where you are going? It's religion in the grave. I want to know. Religion, I believe. Uh, Why did he stop people every day? You may be the reason your father is restless in his grave. What kind of useless stuff is that? Who told you my father is restless in his grave? You just said it now. You told me that your mom have been hearing voices from your father's grave. And then you have concluded that it was my father's voice. Eh? Who told you that? If I were you, Blessing, I am going to reconsider what I am doing so that my father will have a peaceful passage. Wait a minute, Mecca, because I don't understand this anymore. Who told you that my father has not had a peaceful passage? And what is it you think I'm doing that is making my father not to have a peaceful passage? Your romance. Your romance with Amadi, the son of your father's arch enemy. That is the reason your father is restless in his grave. Mecca, you speak like an unbeliever. Everyone faced judgment after that. My father who died has gone to heaven. And he does not have any problem with the relationship I'm building with Amadi. If this thing you said is true now, then tell me why your mother and everybody is hearing voices from your father's grave. Neka, you need to be careful. Be mindful of your words. Don't go around spreading rumor about my father's death. Don't. Nobody speaks from my father's grave and that is it. Where are you coming from? I went to see your friend. And um, that is Johnson's daughter, right? Would you told me that she saw both of you. Mama, please. Please! Enough of all this! Am I a child? Policing me is not... It's not necessary. So, being a man is dining with the enemy. Huh? Blessing is not an enemy. She's not an enemy. Will you shut up? Will you just shut up your mouth if you don't know anything to say whenever I'm talking to you? Didn't your father warn you not to have anything to do with that family? Why? Eh? Why? No, Mama, tell me why. Because we don't share the same belief? Is that it? Yes! We are different. Totally different. What's apart? Oil and water cannot miss. Stop bringing shame and disgrace to the memory of your late father. Amadi, I've warned you. And I will not say this again. Stay away from that family. Amadi, stay away from that family. I can't forget. Amadi. I am going to marry whoever I want. There is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. So, blessing, after all my warnings and teachings, you still went ahead to wine and dine with the offspring of the devil. How long has this thing been going on? blessing. Have you forgotten what the Bible says about being unequally yoked with unbelievers? Ah, blessing. You have broken my heart. Eh? Eh? And you know what the Bible says about the children of disobedience. You know what will happen to children of disobedience. How can you do this to me? Blessing. You are here. 
Yes, so I'm here. I decided to take a, a cold drink. I think she has looking for you. Is there any problem? Um, what is the problem between you and blessing your friend? Blessing my friend. Mm -hmm. Did she tell you you're having any problem? I met her. I jokingly told her that I want you both to come play a role in my marriage. But she says she will not come if you are there. Oh, I told Blessing the truth. That's why she's angry with me. What truth? Her romance with Amadi. That is the reason her father has been restless in his grave. Since I told her that, she stopped picking my call and blocked me everywhere. Mm. What do you mean her father is restless in the grave? Ha! Pijama. Are you the only one that doesn't know what has been happening in this community? I don't know. I am just hearing it for the first time from you. Please, no. Tell me some more. I want to hear everything. Tell me. Ne, I want you to tell me how you want me to assist you in your traditional marriage. Let's forget about this topic for now. Don't change it now. I want to hear everything. You asked, you started it, so finish it. Tell me. How do you want me to help you your traditional marriage? Is it to arrange dancers or what do you want me to do? Stop, I'm game. Stop, stop joking. Tell me now. Papa? Papa, is that you? What are you doing here all by yourself? And why are you crying? Please come, let's go. I don't have a home. I don't have a home. What, what do you mean you don't have a home? Which home are you talking about? The one that you, you people have given over to a sinner. I don't have a home. You are afraid of being homeless. 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 is wrong with this house. Huh? What? What is it? Mama, I really cannot explain it, but I know that nothing is right here. Mama, something is wrong. Honestly. Nancy, are you okay, my daughter? Mama, I am I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. Okay. Don't worry. Calm down. Hmm? Adam. Hmm? Adam, go. Just calm down. Huh? Calm down. Huh? Sit down. Sit. Sit. I'm here. Don't be afraid. I'm here. It's okay. Yeah. What is it? What did you say happened? Mama, the light. It kept going off and on. I don't know what's wrong. This light yes, kept Mama. going off and on. Yes. Hi, blessing. You will not kill me. Is that the reason you call me? Mama, you know what I'm saying? No. I'm not playing. I'm not bluffing. How is that possible, blessing? You know what? Off the light. Come inside with me and sleep. Something has gone wrong. Now who go tell my people I am displaced? Oh. My grave has been stolen. Hey! Mama! Mama! This is not my grave. My grave has been stolen. Can't you hear me? This is not In my, my dreams. Grave. I saw Baba under the rain.
And when I asked him to... to come inside... I refused. Hmm. Saying that... his household has been taken over by his enemy. And what does he mean by his household being taken over by his enemies? I wish I knew. But in that dream, Papa was sad. Very, very sad. Even in the rain, to see his tears. Do you know, I still hear voices coming from the graveside. Oh. Is Papa trying to tell us something? <sighs> I don't know. But I think we should visit as a DBA before something gets out of hand. Sister Agnes, it's been six months since we buried your husband. I am surprised with the fact that your faith has declined since we buried Brother Johnson. I am so sorry, Pastor Timothy. This family has been through a lot. That is the reason why you should draw closer to God. Prayer is the master key. It is only prayer that can solve every problem. We have been through a lot. It is as if there is a spirit haunting us. Yes. How do you mean? Blessing. Blessing. Mama. Sister Blessing. Pastor Timothy, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Blessing. Mama. Tell Pastor the dream you had. Pastor, I saw my father standing alone in a road. He was looking helpless and dejected. He was actually crying, Pastor. I tried to find out what the problem is, but he lamented. He said that he is homeless. Uh, when did this happen? Last night, Pastor. Last night? Yes. Did you pray as you woke up? No, Pastor. I could not even pray because he was as soon as I woke up, then I started hearing strange voices outside. And the voices were coming from my husband's grave. I see. I sense an evil presence in this vicinity. Pastor. Yes. Evil presence. How do you mean? The presence is covered with darkness. But it has no place in this family. Amen. Because the Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. Let us pray. For oh, Almighty and ever living Jesus. Something has gone wrong. God. Now who go tell my people I am displaced? Oh, my grave. I've been having similar dreams. Really? Yes. Strange things are happening. For some time now, we've been hearing voices coming from my father's grave. It's almost like he's, he's arguing or quarreling with somebody. And then, when we get close, the voices stop and we end up not seeing anybody. Hey. My pastor says it's an evil presence. 
evil presence. Yes. Oh, come on. Are we the only families in this village that has lost life? This... I've never seen or heard anything like this before. This is just so much to be a I mean, it's... Uh, so, so, so much. So much. Like, I, I, I... What is this? Blessing! Ma? What are you doing here with this evil? Blessing, answer me. What did the Bible tell you about evil communications? Did your father not warn you never to have anything to do with evil worshippers like him? Will you shut up? Who is your mother? Do I look like your mother? You son of evil. Blessing. Blessing. Your father was clear with his instructions. Was he not? He was. He was. Ah. Oh, you thought there were men suggestions for your consideration. Right? No, no, no. Not at all. And then you are here with this evil worshipper. Blessing. Oh, yeah. Let's go home. Oh, yeah. Go home. Mama. Never you. I've warned you. Never to come close to my daughter. Stay away from my daughter, you son of the devil. Nonsense! Come back here! Come back here! Listen, what is wrong with you? Do you know how your father will feel if he were here saying this? Of course! He is seeing you. He is obviously seeing you. Seeing the legacy he built for years, trampled upon by his own daughter. It is enough for your father to roll in his grave. Mama, surely you don't believe that. Will you shut up? May the mother has strike your mouth. Mama. God, forgive me. Blessing, have you seen it? Have you seen what you have caused me? You made me to speak the sinful words with my sanctified mouth. Blessing. Hey! Blessing. Go inside. Go inside and ask God for spiritual cleansing. Go! Go, blessing. Go! Stop Hi. Hey. What did I just say? Oh, Almighty me. God, this one. Have to know this. Stop all this religious war. Go fell a la lozora nini. Nani bofu. As God answers your prayers, na so he answer others. The way he bless you is the way he bless others. So go if he not just you. Stop all this religious war. Focus on his commandment, which is love. If Nanya, Kaibili Nuda, religion, I believe, uh, why they stop people every day? Uh, For the bread, uh, well, uh, religion, I believe, uh, why they stop people every day? Every day. What will I do when will God answer me? Sister Agnes, Pastor, while I was praying, I had a vision concerning the recent happenings in your family. Really? Yes. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that your husband, Brother Johnson, made a vow to God which he didn't redeem before he died. My husband? Yes. Vow? How? When? I do not know, but I will continue praying. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will reveal to me what we will do so that everything will come to an end. Pastor, my husband never told me anything concerning vow. I don't know. This is my first time of hearing it. Like I said, I will continue to pray. And I believe that the Lord God will reveal to me what we will do and everything you come to an end. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Yeah. 
Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Wow. How? When? God, please help me. Help me, God. You blocked me everywhere. You even stopped picking my calls. That's why I decided to mind my business. My guy, it's okay, I'm sorry. The thing is that I was going through a lot. Till now, I'm still going through the same thing. I'm sorry. So because you saw your father in your dream, confirming to you that he was homeless. That is why you remember me, right? Nika, that's not it. The whole thing is confusing. My mother already briefed Pastor Timothy, so I'm very sure he will solve the problem. Pastor Timothy? Yes. Will yes. Pastor Timothy be able to chain your father? What do you mean chain my father? Did I tell you that we are about to chain him? A man who died since months ago and has been disturbing your family. What are you going to do to him if not chain him? Neka, I would not let you lure me into sin with your unbelief. Pastor Timothy will engage the other men of God and they will solve the problem. Period. Yeah. So, what do you then want from me? What? Neka, it's not like that now. Calm down. It's okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, no. I cannot be here. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Devil, you are a liar. I cannot be here. Yeah. One funny thing about death is that it exposes the foolishness of humans. In the face of death, all humans are equal. Look at us here. Stop what? We are not. We can never be equals. See, see. No, no, no. Here. Yeah. See, eh? I am a believer. You, unbeliever. Look, I, I represent light. You, darkness. And you know what happens when darkness is in the presence of light. It diminishes. You know, <laughs> the problem you have is that you are full of yourself. Look at you claiming that you are better than me. And yet, finally, we are suffering the same predicament. You know, is that not madness? Is that not madness? My destination is heaven. Heaven is my destination. I cannot say the same about you Heaven is your destination. And where are you now? This place is your heaven, right? Who even made you a judge? Who? I know who God says I am. I am what God says I am. I know who I am. If I did, I know that I am the son of God. The luck you have is that I don't know why I cannot even slap you. If this was not your grave, or it's your grave. Match like this. Enter inside it. Enter. Enter. For that. There is no explanation that you give that will make meanings to me. If Eddie was a great man. And if he had a problem of passing it to the ancestors. A man like me should know. I agree with you completely as a DBA. And that's why I'm here. Please, now you've known, how can you help me? The important thing here is that you know that you need help. And you have told me what you know and what you're experiencing. I will help you. Thank you, Ezedibia. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 1 to 6, verse 5, that those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Amen. Sister Agnes, it shall be well with you. Amen. Amen. It is well with you and your household. Amen. Amen. Now that you have redeemed the vow made by your late husband, mm. the good Lord says, I should tell you, that peace shall return to your household. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Is that 
Hey, there shall be no more strange occurrences in this family. Amen. 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 Everything Amen. has Thank been you, uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It is well with you. Amen. It's a blessing. It is well with you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank, thank you so much. Your thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God has done it. Amen. Amen. Yes. God, I thank you. God, I bless your name. I know you must surely wipe away my tears. If I dogu, if I dogu, walking back in a buggy Are you not supposed to take care of your family, even in death? Why has it fallen? Amen oh befalling your family. And this evil omen oh is said to be coming from your grave. Why, if I if I rise up, wherever this evil omen oh is coming from, from the ocean, from the wind, from the earth, if I rise up and fight against it. I have come with this power to stop this evil omen. Oh if I have come with this power. Wherever it's coming from. From the ocean, from the wind, from the earth, if I rise up, protect your family. I stop this evil omen today. Let it stop. Let it stop. Let this evil omen stop. Let it stop. Let it stop. Let it stop. Now, take this fowl to river. Throw it there. This fowl has carried the evil omen in this house. Do that and peace shall return to this house. My job is done here. Thank you, Ezekiel. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I didn't even ask him when I should go through the house. He just said through it in the river. I didn't see why. You this man. So you haven't got to rest. You're still walking around like a homeless child. It's okay. You can see me. What? That means you can help me. So yeah, I cannot help a ghost. No, I'm a living man. You are how? Oh, I forgot you are a ghost. Okay. It's alright. You are blocking my back and my front. Look, I have the road. I'll take this one. Chukubi, wait. You can hear me out. I cannot hear you out. Is it by force? When you were alive, you used to call me if you live. Me, Chukubi. Yes? And now, you want me to help you. Chukubi, what are you talking with? Are you seeing ghost or woman being? This is another ghost. You are, you are a madman. A real drunk you are. You are a madman. Why am I seeing ghosts today? Ghosts are not. Are they a change? Hallelujah.
What is it? What is it? What is it? Mama, I, I saw something. I saw something here now. Something just yeah. happened on top of this grave now. Which grave? Bless him, bring out the cloth here. <laughs> Sister Blessing. Pastor. Are you sure of what you saw? Yes, Pastor, I am very sure. It was shaking as if something was about to erupt from it. It was too much. What I'm saying is that you might have imagined it. You know losing a loved one can affect us in different ways. What about my mother? Did she imagine it too? That's very strange. Let me see her. Pastor, she is still in shock. This couldn't have been just an imagination. I am scared. You don't need to be scared. Yes, you don't need to be scared. The Bible says that greater is he that dwells in us than he that dwells in the world. Let us pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Abba, Father, your word said that unless you watch over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain.
Amadi. Amadi, can you hear that? Amadi, what? Can't you hear voices? Mama, please, please. Can I have my moment? I have a lot to think. Please. Voices are the least of my problems right now. Amadi, please listen. The voice is coming from your father's grave. Destroying everything they met, desecrated our sanctuary, our sacred place. They termed us devils, termed us pagans and hiddens. That was their language. What was our offense? What did our great forefathers, our ancestors, what did they do? Their only cry was that they were worshiping God in a different way. And that is it. There is only one. One way to serve God. And you are standing here now telling me that you are a God. This fool. That, that's my my father's voice. And it's going from your father's grave. How is that possible? This queen. If I can still slap you, eh? I will be slapping you every day. If it wasn't that they mistakenly put my body here, I will walk over your grave. That is what fools can do. Marching on people's graves. They are a fool. I will slap you. I was hearing my father's voice. I am confused as well. You are the cause of this nonsense. You are the cause. You are an agent of darkness. It is your unforgiveness that is keeping me in this place. I should be where the heavenly, heavenly angels are singing praises to God. You are the darkness yourself. Because you failed to do what you are supposed to do. Come on. That is why we are in this, in this, oh, in this place. Come on, worshiper of Amadio. I am a child of light. I should not be here. And where is the light? Divided, Gambo Almighty God is one. Have to know this. Stop all this religious war. Go for all the Lozora and Yuni. Nani Bofu. As God answers your prayers, that's so how He answers others. The way He bless you is the way He bless others. So go Ah, our Lord Bishop. Is okay. What does the holy of holies want with your drunken sinner like me? At least you, you know that you are a drunken sinner. Mm -hmm. Is that not what you always call me? You have always treated me like a plague. It's because you refuse to change. You have to change. Otherwise you will end up in hell. It's okay. You are heaven. What do you want? I need you to take a message to my family. Hey! You want to me, Chekube, the condemned, 
to carry a message for you. Oh, what an irony. Chekupe, at least you, you can see me and you can hear me. I, I don't even know how that's possible, but I have no other choice. It has to be you. Huh? I can see you and I can hear you. But I'm not interested. Chekupe, please, you have to help me. You have to help. Is that desperation? I hear in your voice. Will you help me? No. Oh, please, no, oh, please, please help me, I beg. Please, Chekube. Do dead men beg? You are begging me. Are you sure you are dead? It's okay. Uh, thank you. Thank I'll help you. you. Thank you. Uh, but you know, I am Chekube. No one believes me. They will not believe me. Chekube, at least let us try. Eh? Let us try. Don't do us, but uh, what is the message? <laughs> What are you doing? Who are the inhabitants of this uh, house? Okay, temple, because it's only one comes from here. What are you doing here? Chekube? I greet you. Chekube, you're welcome. I saw my greeting first. You have no business in my house. Or did you see your fellow drunkards here? Did you see any of them in my house? Okay, my body doesn't like it, so. I came with a message from your husband. But since you don't want to hear me, let me go back. Jacob, wait, wait. Mama, let him out now. He let's must see. be out of his mind. Hear him out for what? Eh? You, Hear him out for what? You see what I told you. They will never believe me. This one. You haven't even given them the message. Give them the message. Ah! How can I tell them the message when your wife has refused to allow me to? Huh? Who are you talking to? You see? He says you are the one drunk. Your father, of course. Well. <laughs> you are not seeing him. I told you, huh? this boy is mad. Oh, yeah. you, you, time up! You need this. I know what I'm saying. I said time up! Leave my compound! Wait, oh, Mama, Mama, you have to go out of my compound! Mama, Mama, wait, let him go! Get out! Get out of my compound! 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 I don't want to see you here again. Hear what? Can't you see that he is obviously drunk? You're too impatient, I don't like you. Eh, what do you want to hear from him? So I should allow him drink in my house. Okay, give me one word patient. Go and hear. See, just tell him. Tell him not to cross my gate again. Tell him all. Now who go tell my people I am displaced? My grave has been stolen. How are you? What? What? What is with you? Uh -huh. Your father said I should tell you people that you buried him in another man's grave. I buried another man in his grave. Hmm? And you listen to me. Let this be the very last time you ever talk about my father. You hear me? Let this be the very last time you talk about my father. Drunk! Why does everybody hate the messenger? Uh, it's okay. I'll deliver my message. Wait, wait, wait. What are you rushing to? Is everything all right? I'm going to see Chekube. The drunk? Yes. Why? He came to our house and said he has a message from my father. But my mother didn't let him talk. Goodness, goodness, goodness. What message can you possibly get from a drunk? Amadi, why are you saying this now? What if he's right? Right? How can a drunk be right? The last time I saw him, he told me that someone else was buried in my father's grave. Does that, 
does that make sense? I mean, the strange things that's been happening in our families since our father's died. So what if they're the ones trying to communicate to us? Trying to communicate with us through a drunk. Our parents were not drunk. What are you talking about? Somebody let's hear him out first. Please. Really? Please, let's go. Amadi, come on. I don't blame you. It is death that I blame. Because if not for death, what fellowship has light with darkness? You see your life. So it took you to die for you to realize that both of us are equals. Right? So in death now, you know we are equals. Look at you. I sent Chekube on an errand. You now, you now sent him on an errand also. Can't you think one original thought in that heathen brain of yours? You have a problem. And that problem is that you think so highly of yourself. Look at you standing here now, claiming you were the one who sent Chekube on an errand. Whereas I was the one who sent I was the one. Enough. Hey. Are you also dead? No. Are you even human? Let's just say I am a link between the living and the dead. What exactly does that mean? You see, Life is so deep, too deep for anyone to comprehend in its entirety, no matter how learned or exposed you might be. That is why both of you must forget your differences and work together in order to find the solution to your common problem. No, he's the one that started it. No, he is the one that started it. He thinks so highly of himself. He is the Mr. do it all who does not know anything at all. And that's the problem I'm having with him. It's not as if I believe that I'm better than everyone. It is just that I want everyone to serve the one true God. But some people, some people are enemies to that cause. You see my problem with him? Have I ever prevented you from worshipping your God the way you plan to worship him? No! You are the one who is constantly interfering in the way I worship my own God. I told you that God is one and he has revealed himself in so many ways to so many people how they want to worship him. You are the fool who is telling me that God has only one way. How can you say that? How can you say that? There is only one way. Says who? Uh, Says enough. Who? Enough. Can't both of you find a common ground? You are men. We have different faces. Different beliefs, different ideals. And like I said, life is deeper, much deeper than anybody can understand. There are different people, countries, races, religions, culture, tradition. But there is only one God. Now this God has exposed himself in different ways to different people. This is Am I not vindicated? Therefore, every people have the right to approach this God the way he has exposed himself to them. And that is, that, that might be different from the way other people worship and approach him. I say to you, Ebe Bello, Ugo Bello, live and let live. Do your own and let the other person do his own, his own way. No one should try to stop each other. And both of you must find a common ground. Come together and find a solution to your common problem. If you are serious about finding that solution, forgetting your differences. If only you will agree with me. You will agree that this man who just lived here now is a saint. Sent to tissue sense, and we are going to agree with him. Anything that will separate me from you eternally, I will work for that. Say bye bye to foolishness for once, can't you? Chekube, you said you have a message from my father. Yes, of course. I have a message for both your father. What does it matter? 
You would not believe me. Why should we? Give us one reason we should believe you, you drunk. You see what I said? He just called me drunk. So I still need. Why you are ready to hear me out? You know we have to find. Who is going to wait for a drunk like come and get out of here? I don't, don't! You so take our fault. I am with the gods. No, look at you me. Are a man me. Look, look, look at who is with the gods. That's how the gods move. How about it? Huh? Huh? You come back to me. Look at look at who is with the gods. You're, You're with the me. dead! Why look, are you with Look, look, look. Amadi took him now. Do you have to answer him? What are we even doing with the drunk? What are we going to say when people see us with the drunk like that? Amadi, listen. We need all the help we can get right now. Not from a drunk. If God can speak through a donkey, then he would through a donk. All right. I don't like the way you're variating now. I don't. Because of a drunk. Uh. Here. Ane kun kame ozanema. This one that you two are here. I hope I am safe. Chikuru, you need to help us. Did I hear us? Mm. That means I must be dead. No, no. Wait, wait. You are dead. not dead. You are not dead. Okay. I'm you are not alive. dead. I need your help. Then my eyes must be deceiving me. Because uh, what is this friendship? No. Friendship with dead people. No, this friendship is all about live and let's live. It's the beauty of a shared predicament. Oh. Here. Beauty with the dead people. I, I must have to leave you. You are, you are making me go insane. Mm -mm. Eh? Mm -mm. I don't think. I don't think I want to hear anything from that boy. No, I can't. Mama, what are you saying? Chekube said it's the only way he can tell us the message from Papa. Chekube, the drunk. Of all people my husband could speak to is that notorious drunkard, Chekube. Does it make any sense to you? Mama, as it is now, nothing makes sense anymore. Nothing. Mama, can you explain all the strange things happening since Papa's death? Do you rather it continues? Okay, just like the other day. Can you explain what happened here? Can you? And the only way he can tell us whatever he claims that my husband told him is to sit with those beggars. If it is family. Which you know that when my husband was alive, he wouldn't want us to have anything to do with those people. Mama, please. Uh, don't even start. We are all humans, despite the difference in our belief. You have to think about this. There's nothing to think about. Blessing, there's nothing to think about. I am still confused that that drunkard could have anything meaningful to tell us. What does he know? Mama, <sighs> please. I have told you. Think about this as soon as possible. Please. Mama, well, you have to think about it. Okay. Uh, let me think about it. But do quit and come inside. Is this, is in this world. Your husband and your father want you to know that they love you. And even though they cannot be with you physically, they always be with you in spirit. Uh, please, tell my wife that uh, I'm sorry that I was unable to take her to the church convention in Lagos, as I promised. Oh, bless. Okay. The Thomas. Your husband. The bishop wants me to tell you that his son, I was not able to fulfill his promise to take you to Lagos for the church convention. Mm. 
Chekube. How could you have known that? Ah, oh, bless. You have come. I didn't know. You just told me. I, and tell my wife that I am sorry for the debt I owe. Tell her that one way or the other, there will be a way for us to pay it. Just tell her that as long as there is life, there is hope. Hello, lad. Your husband, the leopard, I go. The one that used to call me a flip when he was still alive. Your husband, say I should tell you that you should not worry about the death you owe. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yes. That there will always be a way. I don't know how you tend to pay for the land of the dead. Are you out of your mind? No? Huh? Was Papa in debt before, before he died? How come no one told me? Why didn't you tell me? Okay. And to the water that brought us here. There has been a very big mix-up. What kind of mix-up? The person buried in the grave in your compound. It's not your husband. What? Yes. What do you mean? That is Marzi Johnson's body. Huh? Huh? Oh. The mix-up happened in the mortuary. I can go off, man. I can go Explain it well for them to understand. That was possible because their bodies were born beyond recognition. And they were buried the same day. Chikube, wait. Are you saying that it's not my husband that was buried in my compound? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Hey! That is my husband. And since then, they have not been able to rest. Hmm? For them to finally rest, it's not like I want them to rest. The right thing must be done. Exchange them. Just as they are doing their hands like this, just exchange them. The tiger and the leopard. Simple. Ah. Finally. Leave and let's leave. Vazi Fed, they are Vazi Johnson. Want you all to stop the enmity between the two families and live in peace. Enough of the religious war. You are the archbishop. I am the chief priest. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? No. You all should just live in peace. Forget about the differences. That's the beauty of diversity. <laughs> now we can finally live in peace. Ah. And the rest in peace. In truth, in truth and in deed. <laughs> Yeah, if you like, I'll leave it. If you don't like, I'll leave it. I'll deliver my visit. I never thought there would be a day I will call you my brother. But you're my brother. <laughs> and I'm going to get my son to get a ram. You will be part of it. Then you will become a Just say yes, just say yes, just say yes. Just say yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> 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 